Hey guys, it's Jared. Today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm actually going to show you what, what's been done. I've done a lot of talking about what's been done. I've done a lot of showing you the actual build, which those videos have been doing really well. Really appreciate your guys' support. I'm going to actually show you the engine bay here. I'm a minute away from the gym I work out at, and uh, we're going to go over what's been done. I'm going to show you the install. It's really, really clean. He, Greg hit this out of the park. Um, that's the owner of DNA who did the build. And uh, I'm just actually going to get to show you guys that the other day I kind of did that quick video just talking about it, not actually letting you guys know what's been done. Um, today I'm going to show you that obviously some of the stuff you can't really tell from the outside. It's not going to look any different like, you know, the Kill Devil diesel heads, the Colt Stage 2 cam, those things you won't be able to tell, but I am going to show you what's, uh, what's been done to the truck. Switch arms here. So, get down here to park. Anyway, guys, the truck has about 200 miles on it since the build, and it's been driving great. I've been really happy with it. Um, just, it, it's been awesome, really. Uh, truck, it runs and idles smooth, no check engine lights. Uh, I haven't really gotten on it to test everything. I do want to say, guys, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, definitely subscribe to us. We have a lot of cool videos coming here soon. And uh, you guys are not going to want to miss what's coming up in the channel. So, let's see. I'm going to do more stuff on this soon, too. Uh, one on with better days out there. And... Uh, with my GoPro instead of just me filming. So here it is, guys. I need to get a new filter here. Mishimoto degas bottle. You can see it fits in here nicely. I don't know if you guys can see, but here's my coolant reroute tucked in down there. Uh, Mishimoto radiator, obviously. Climb up here. <clears throat> So what I want you guys to see, oh, that is hot. Sorry, I just touched the radiator and it is very hot. So here's my coolant reroute. He did not route it over here, so it's obvious. It looks really tucked away. You can't even see it. Uh, we're gonna go into a lot of that stuff. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is my coolant um, filter system. So he replaced those blue hoses that came with it. So this is all tied in nice and neat, uh, and it looks very factory. Also, the coolant return normally cuts into your heater hose that goes back to your heater core. I told him I didn't want it going in there. I wanted it returned up to my degas bottle. So he ran it along here, brings it up here then, and over. Sorry about the video, guys. And over into my degas bottle. Oh, I'm not even playing. And over into my degas bottle here. And it looks. <clears throat> and uh, it looks really clean. It, you can't even tell something's done there until it's pointed out to you. So he did an awesome job there. Um, very happy with it. We have. Trying to think what else is in here to show you guys that's really the gist of it you know the the heads the cam that stuff you can't see i did replace all the coolant lines they're all brand new ford oem stuff and uh like i said just very happy with everything that's been done the I'm trying to think i don't even know what my favorite part is it just it looks it looks really clean under here guys you i think uh when if I can ever get to meet some of you guys, I think you'll love seeing it. I am going to dress it up in the future, get some shiny parts. I'm going to get my valve covers painted in the future. Just goofy stuff like that. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you under the truck. 
Uh, we will have future videos with exhaust notes and everything. And uh, let you guys know, the truck's driving great. Really, really happy with it. <clears throat> and uh, I know this wasn't one of the more exciting videos, but I just wanted to do a video for you guys, showing actually showing you under the hood. Truck's been running awesome, 200 miles on it. Start getting on it a little more in another 300, and I'll probably do an oil change about seven, 800 miles just to do an oil change because of you know basically a rebuild. There's not a lot of old parts on this motor anymore. So the um, trying to think here, I think that's all, guys. Like I said earlier, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow us on Instagram if you're not there. We post stuff pretty regularly on that. That's 6.0 H bros <clears throat> on instagram so check us out there we have facebook page 6.0 bros and uh anyway guys that's all thank you